Hello there. I think you have known already about the concepts from part one of my topic about the overview of your antibiotics. Now I will discuss to you the major classes of antibiotics. Major classes. of antibiotics okay what are the major classes of antibiotics okay remember the pack stuff okay what is this pack stuff pack stuff your pack stuff again pack stuff i will just first um write about the major i will not just uh, discuss this in detail because later i will discuss it one by one your p stands for your penicillin 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 and your penicillinase just be familiarized with the uh, terms to use penicillinase resistant resistant drugs again penicillin and penicillinase resistant drugs later i will discuss to you what is penicillinase a stands for your amino amino glycosides c stands for your carbapenems carbo so and daming mga classes pala carbapenems this is it Carbapenems. Another C stands for your cephalosporins. Actually, your cephalosporins are divided into many generations. Generation 1 up to generation 5. Cephalosporins. Next is your sulfonamides. That is your letter S. Sulfonamides. Also called as your sulfa drugs. Sulfa drugs. T stands for your tetracyclines. Tetracyclines. A stands for your anti mycobacterials. Last is your fluoro. Oh, what is the spelling of your fluoro? Fluoro. F O. I mean F L U O R O. Fluoroquinolones. So that is that is fluoroquinolones. Quinolones. Again, Pakistan. Paxta. P stands for your penicillin and penicillinase resistant drugs. Another one is your aminoglycosides. Aminoglycosides. Next is your carbapenems. Carbapenems. Carbapenems, aminoglycosides, penicillins. And your C is first C, second C is your cephalosporins. Madami itong cephalosporins. So mamaya tuturuan ko kayo kung paano natin ma-recall yung kanilang mga complicated na mga names kasi madami sila eh. And your sulfonamides, other term that is your sulfa drugs. Sulfa drugs, sulfonamides. Next is your tetracyclines, tetracyclines, sulfonamides, and your antimicrobacterials. Last is your fluoroquinolones. Okay, pay particular attention with your antimicrobacterials since you, uh, you will also be dealing about some diseases, especially in community health nursing and also in other areas of nursing. But since you are taking this subject, nursing pharmacology, along with your 
year level, since you are second year level, uh, you will also be dealing about tuberculosis and also the drugs given to this type of diseases. Okay, antimicrobacterials also includes your anti-tubercular drugs and uh, and leprostatic drugs. Okay, again, anti-tubercular tuber tubercular tubercular and lepro static drugs okay anti tubercular from the word tubercular the tubercular since it is anti tubercular the anti microbacterial specifically anti tubercular drugs is given for what for tb or for tuberculosis okay tuberculosis by the way what is the causative agent of your tuberculosis what is the causative agent okay, the one that causes the disease tuberculosis causative agent can be not only bacteria but viruses fungi or any uh, pathogenic um, microorganism okay that is your very good if you can still remember your microbiology class mycobacterium bacterium tuberculosis there's another thing leprostatic drugs found out with lepro it is giving uh, i mean it is given for diseases like your leprosy for leprosy ito ay para sa mga leprosy or your kilala sa tawag na ketong leprosy also called as your Hansen's disease Hansen's disease no? that is your leprosy it is because ang nakadiskobre ng sakit na ito ay si doctor walang iba si doctor Hansen isang Norwegian na doctor no, leprosy also called as your Hansen's disease. Uh, if you notice, there is the word myco. Myco, another, the, actually the causative agent for your leprosy is your myco. It will also start with the name myco. Mycobacterium. Bacterium leprae. Leprae. Here, if you notice, there is myco. There is also myco here, anti-mycobacterials, because this group of, uh, I mean, uh, antibiotics are against with the bacteria. The name is a mycobacteria. Uh, uh, actually, mycobacterium. Here you can see mycobacterium tuberculosis. So, if we will analyze this antimicrobacterials, it is very broad because it can be given for uh, diseases that cause, uh, which is the cause. If the cause is mycobacterium tuberculosis, then automatically it is for TB. If the antimicrobacterials targets the mycobacterium leprae, then it is for leprosy. Lepro leprosy leprostatic drugs so that is their coloration uh, i mean their connection with the term antimicrobacterials because of there is a mycobacterium as a causative agent it is against again it is against for mycobacterium um agent like your mycobacterium tuberculosis and Mycobacterium leprae, and each of that has a corresponding diseases or associated diseases. Now, remember the term pack stuff. Pack stuff. That is the major classes of antibiotics. Next is your another um, classification of antibiotics that does not fit into the major classification so what are those meron pa palang mga classification yes madami sila sino sino sila that is your mm 
LL MM LL Guess what is the first M? Since madami sila. Okay. That is your macrolides. Macrolides. Very good. Another M is that your monobactams. Monobactam. M M L L. Another classification of your antibiotic that does not fit into the major. That is your linicosamide. Linicosamides. Another L is your lipo. Lipo. Uh, glyco. Peptides. Okay. Your macrolides, monobactams, linkosamides, and lipoglycopeptides. Since madami sila. So, since madami din sila, you expect that some of the names are very complicated. Some are short. Um, by the way, I will give you later some of the techniques or, to a memory jogger to help you recall the name of these drugs. Huwag naman sana kayo pumunta sa uh, mercury drugstore or, an, or any pharmacy. Sasabihan niyo yung pharmacist na. Uh, meron ba kayong mga macrolides? Siyempre, ang daming ano, example ng mga macrolides. It can be, can many, can have many forms. Uh, meron ba kayong monobactams niya? Magtatanong na maigi talaga yung, yung pharmacist. Ano ba? Ang dami mong alam ah. Doktor ka ba? Di nurse lang po. Uh, ito ang mga kailangan yung malaman. No? Mga example, just be familiarized. Especially, magagamit ni ito sa mga, like your mga clinical cases. No? When you will be exposed actually in the hospital, some drugs will be encountered. And you will be, um, don't be surprised that they fall in the Paxlap category. Some of them will fall in the MMLL. So later, I will give you some of the example of each category. So, wag mo na ma -exide. Una natin i-discuss ay ang yung mga uh, penicillin. No? From the Paxlap group. And before that, meron muna akong ipapakilala sa inyo ng mga another uh, very important uh, reclassification of your antibiotics. Ito yung um, beta lactam antibiotics. What is your beta lactam antibiotics? Okay, beta lactam antibiotics ay apat lang iyon. Okay, again, beta lactam lactam antibiotics. Antibiotics. One, two. 3, 4. Ano, ano ang mga example ng iyong beta-lactam na mga antibiotics? Okay, pag sinabi natin beta-lactam, it has actually a beta-lactam ring. Ano naman yung beta-lactam? Masyado naman napakalawak, sir. Okay, your beta-lactam antibiotics. We have your P, C, C, M. Ano ito P, C, C, M? They are beta-lactam antibiotics. You will name each one by one. P stands for your penicillins. Penicillin. C stands for your cephalosporins. C, another C is your carbapenems. Carbapenems. Last letter is your monobacta. Di nireclassify lang. Nireclassify lang. Penicillin up to the carbapenems. That is from your Paxtaf group. Another one is your monobactam from the MMLL. Okay, by the way, since they are the examples of your beta lactam antibiotics, let us, let me draw your attention about your beta lactam. Since 
this type of antibiotic has a beta-lactam ring. Uh, it, uh, the beta-lactam antibiotics has a has a beta lactam ring no yung penicillin may mga beta lactam ring yung cephalosporin carbapenems at yung monobactams so ano ang importansya nito why we are discussing this no mga beta lactam antibiotics some bacteria take note some bacteria some some bacteria actually they release they produces what produces an enzyme this enzyme what uh, what we call or they commonly uh, called it as your beta lactamase beta lactamase this is an enzyme by the way it is an enzyme Okay, beta-lactamase is an enzyme. So, anong ginagawa? Anong relationship nito sa beta-lactam ng mga antibiotics? Okay, your beta-lactamase, actually, if um, if this is the ring, the beta-lactam ring, in a circular figure, your beta-lactamase, actually, is the one that breaks down the beta-lactam ring. So, kaya niya pala itong sirain, itong beta-lactam ring. No, papaano? Minsan, isang mga mekanismo niya ay bubutasan niya ang yung ring. I mean, yung ring ng beta-lactam antibiotic. Kapag nabutas nito, na-open yung beta-lactam ring. Because of that, nagkakaroon ng inactivation. Hindi siya ma-activate. So therefore, pag hindi siya ma-inactivate, ma inactivate, madadamid, nadadamid siya. Kapag nadamid siya, yung or na break down actually, yung beta lactam ring, nawawala ng ano, nawawala ng bisa yung iyong mga beta lactam antibiotics. No, dapat pala kilalanin din natin itong mga beta lactamase. Ang daming ginagawa nitong mga bacteria, no? Nagle-level up din itong mga bakterya. Marami silang ginagawa. Lumalaban. By the way, lumalaban sila sa ating antibiotics. Tingnan niyo, lumalaban. Okay. If a beta-lactamase, I mean, if the beta-lactamase specifically targets, if it targets actually your penicillin, then your, your then the beta-lactamase is has a specific name. If it targets your penicillin, Again, pag tinarget niya yung penicillin, ang tawag sa kanya na specific na beta, uh, na beta lactamase is your penicillinase. Kaya, meron tayong gamot kanina na nabanggit na penicillinase resistant uh, drugs. Okay? That is your penicillinase. Okay, penicillinase is a type or, of a beta lactamase. No, that is specific to the penicillin. Again, penicillinase is an enzyme that is produced by some of the bacteria. It is a, it is a, a certain type of beta-lactamase that is against with your penicillin. Okay, now let's go with the penicillin. pag natin ang penicillin. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng penicillin? Ano ba ang mga classification ng penicillin? By the way, your penicillin, actually, matagal itong na-discovery ni Alexander Fleming. Penicillin. No? Penicillin. Actually, nanggaling sila sa penicillium nonatum. Isang fungus, actually. They came from the fungus. No? Si, sino nakadiskubre? Hulaan nyo, sino nakadiskubre? Very good. Si... Sino? Alexander Fleming. Alexander Fleming. Sabi pa ni Alexander Fleming, I did not invent the penicillin. Nature did. I only discovered it by accident. Yun ang sabi ni penicillin. Eh? Ni Alexander Fleming na nakadiskubre sa penicillin na gamot. 
Actually, may mga classification ng penicillin. Sino-sino sila? Actually, sila si P. Yan. Oh my goodness, sino si P. Yan? Okay, P. Yan stand for your letter P. That is your penicillinase. 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 Resistant penicillin. Resistant. Resistant penicillin. Sil penicillins or penicillin drug resistant another book penicillinase resistant drug penicillinase resistant penicillins e stands for your extended extended spectrum spectrum penicillins A stands for your amino, amino penicillins. Okay, next is your natural, natural penicillins. Marami example ito actually. Again, that is your penicillinase, a resistant penicillin, extended spectrum, amino penicillin, and natural penicillin. Ano mga example nito? Kilalaan ni sila. Kasi sila atin silang uh, dapat makilala din. Maraming example nito ha penicillin is resistant penicillin. So I will give you one. Example your cloxacillin. 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 Actually yung penicillin they are given actually for some infections affecting your skin. Respiratory tract also. Uh, cloxacillin is one of the example of penicillin. It ends with silin, 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 penicillin. Another thing is your extended spectrum penicillin. Example is your piperacillin. These are some uh, common. Piperacillin. Piperacillin. Um. Amino penicillin, these are your most common in the Philippines. No, ito yung amoxicillin. Cicillin, mga silin, silin, yan sila. Mga penicillin yan. Your natural penicillin example, yung pen G, your penicillin G. Actually, it is uh, written shortly for pen G. The other one is your pen Pen B. No? Pen G. Pen B. Pen G. Pen B. Ano ba mapagkakaiba nitong Pen G at Pen V? Again, yung Pen G at saka Pen V may pagkakaiba yan. Pag nabasa nyo Pen V, no, V is pinapasok sa bunga nga. Bunga nga. Bunganga, it is, yeah. what does, what is the logic this? Pinapasok daw siya sa bunganga, sir. So, pag binapasok siya sa bunganga, these are commonly your oral form. Oral form of penicillin. Especially your natural form of penicillin. Oral form. Okay, your penji, since there is an oral form, no, ito ay ini-inject. Ini, in, since inject, there's a letter J, ini inject. No, ini inject. It means to say, this is your parenteral route. Parenteral route. A parenteral form can be given by, uh, can be IM or IV. So that is your pen G. Again, your pen G and pen V are different in terms of the route. The oral form, that is your pen V. V, that is your pinapasok sa bunganga. Bunganga. Oral. That it is an oral form. Pen G, yan ay binibigay, no? Through injections, no? Sinab that is 
uh, common term for the parental route no either im or iv no ini in jet no? i changed letter j into go g ka in check para mas ma-recall niyo ang kanilang mga routes of delivery or a mode of administration next is your actually the penicillin B and penicillin G they are discovered lately kas uh, sa panahon pa ng mga mga nagdiscover nito yung mga chemist actually um pangalan nila is penicillin 1 2 3 na naka human roman numerals and lately they changed the name and it so happened that the penicillin G is one of the most potent among them. Kaya, change na naman into letter J, into alpha letters, no? A, B, C, D. And, you know, it's it, it's all about naming of the... It, it doesn't entail a lot of serious... um about of serious debate of why it is letter J, uh, letter G, or letter V. It's the naming. It's the naming. There's nothing about uh, complicated of the uh, naming of the penicillin so that's all about your penicillin uh, there's important thing about your penicillin since i mentioned uh, penicillinase again penicillinase 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 again these are enzymes that break down uh, these are enzymes that break down the beta lactam ring by making a hole. Now, if this is your beta lactam ring, beta lactam lactam ring, so it damages actually an enzyme, it damages beta lactam ring. No, penicillinase damages this beta lactam ring. Once the beta lactam ring, beta lactam ring is damaged, so that causes what? That causes um decreased potency of your penicillin. Okay, that is your penicillinase. So sinisira nila yung yung ano yung molecule ng penicillin. Kaya siya tinatawag na penicillinase. At para maagapan niyan, mga chemist o mga nag-iimbento ng gamot nilalagyan nila ng other form kubaga nilagyan pa nila ng sariling ng iba pang ingredients no ano 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 ito mga mga panlaban natin doon sa mga penicillinase no ito sila tinatawag ng mga actually tinatawag din ito silang mga beta lactamase lactamase beta lactamase inhibitors inhibitors no Yung sa inhibitor, pinipigilan nila, nilalabanan nila yung ano, yung mga penicillinase. No? Para hindi, para hindi ma, ma-break down yung beta lactam ring. So, kung hindi siya ma-break down yung la, kung goal ng mga inhibitor is labanan ang penicillin, mga penicillinase. So, therefore, magiging intact, maging normal yung yung structure ng beta lactam ring. So nagiging mas mataas ang kanila epekto. Uh, na, na yung potency ng gamot is maganda rin kasi walang damage yung beta lactam beta lactam ring. So ano na yung mga beta lactam inhibitors? And later you will see the the logic why there is a beta lactam inhibitors. So example yung clavolanic clavolanic Lanic acid. Yan, clavolanic acid. Pangalawa is your tazobactam. It's very common. Tazobactam. Bactam. Pangatlo is your sulbactam. Like this term, sulbactam. Your CTS. Clavolanic acid, tazobactam, and sulbactam. Okay. Ano ang mga example na mga uh, pag ikinumbay nito penicillin plus beta lactamase inhibitors no may mga formation ito mga nagagana so for example again there are beta lactamase inhibitors that what 
na kumukontra sa mga penicillinase na siyang sumisira sa beta-lactam ring ng mga penicillinase sample lang or, or any uh, of those four na may mga beta-lactam ring, mga beta-lactam antibiotic. Uh, ito yung mga example, clavulanic acid, tesobactam, at yung sulbactam. Okay. Example ng mga drug na may combination ng beta-lactamase inhibitor plus penicillin. Example, your um, pisilin. Your ampicillin plus sulbactam. As I said, sulbactam is a type of, for example, of your beta-lactamase. Sulba sulbactam. Okay. Yung, yung role niya is para hindi masira yung molecule ni ampicillin because ampicillin this is uh, penicillin a penicillin type penicillin penicillin no this is a penicillin type this is a what we call your beta beta lactamase lactamase inhibitor inhibitor okay again ano bang logic nito bakit may sulbactam bakit hindi na lang ang penicillin kasi if in case may mga bacteria na pwedeng makapanira sa beta-lactam ring ni ampicillin, may pro-protecta. At sinong pro-protecta yun? At sino ang mag-pro-protect? Si sulbactam. Because si sulbactam is a kind of beta-lactamase inhibitor. Actually, your ampicillin, the combination ampicillin plus sulbactam, is also known as, aka also known as your sultamicillin. Sulta mi silin also also have a brand also has a brand name Unasin Unasin it's a common brand name for Sulta Micillin again your Sulta Micillin this is the generic name also this is a generic name Sulta Micillin it is a combination of ampicillin and sulbactam and another one example from magets ninyo ano ba ibig sabihin ng mga beta lactamicin inhibitor at penicillin na combination yung amoxicillin. I think it is a very common type of penicillin. Amoxicillin. Amoxicillin. Plus, clavulanic acid. Clavulanic. Clavulanic acid. Again, I have given already the example. Clavulanic acid is a beta-lactamase inhibitor. Na if in case, may mga bacteria na sisira. Kaya amoxicillin siya ang mapoprotecta para hindi madamage yung kanyang ano, para hindi madamage ang kanyang beta-lactam ring. Okay, that is the purpose of your beta-lactamase inhibitor. This combination is also known as your, what? Guess what? That is your, clavul, uh, I mean, that is your co-amoxiclub. Co-amoxiclub. Ang daming pangalan ng mga gamot. Co-amoxiclub. This is the, actually this is a combination of co-amoxiclub, small letter C, because it is a generic name. Okay, what is the brand name of this drug? What is our, uh, what are the brand names actually? Marami tong brand names. Most common is your Augmentin. Augmentin. Augmentin, the other, the other uh, brand name most common is your, especially in the Philippines, um, uh, Amoclub. Oh, ito. That is your... Actually, common ito naririnig ng mga nurses. Co-amoxiclub. No? Brand name niya is Augmentin. Okay, wang, walang, kung walang other na mga brand name, your Amoclub is also the brand name of your Co-amoxiclub. Again, that is a combination of your Amoxicillin and another Beta-Lactamase inhibitor. Same thing with another one, Ampicillin and your Solbactam. Okay, there's another thing you need to consider. Now, in terms of their activity, okay, here's another example. First, second, and third example. Okay. okay. Third is your ticarcillin. Ticarcillin. Ticarcillin is also an, un, uh, is, it is, yeah, yes, it is an antibiotic. Specifically, it is a penicillin. Penicillin type. The same thing with your amoxicillin. Okay. And, you will be combined uh, combining with the clavulanic acid okay if you combine this with clavulanic acid the same thing with example number two clavulanic acid okay 
Tavulanic acid still, that is your beta-lactamase inhibitor. That is a common name for Timentin, the brand name Timentin. Timentin or Timentin. Other one is your Piperacillin. Piperacillin plus Tazobactam. Actually, I will give you a tip. Yung mga ganitong gamot, actually, mahap di ito sa veins. Kaya, yung ibang mga mga doktor nagre-recommend talaga na i-dilute pa ito sa mga, like, sa other solution like your plain NSS. No, it is given by a Solicet. And later on, you will be learning about how to give the drug by a Solicet. Kasi mas mahap, mahap di ito pag concentrated, ibigay talaga direct sa yung gamot. No, ito ay dinidilute pa sa ibang mga solution. Kasi mahap di ito. Very irritating to the veins, remember. Your piperacillin and your tazobactam. Tazobactam. The tazobactam is another beta-lactamase inhibitor. Or in case, if there is bacteria that are producing what we call an enzyme, hmm? a beta-lactamase enzyme that will damage uh, eventually your piperacillin. So there's a protector, your beta-lactamase inhibitor. Actually, this is, um, it has a common, uh, common brand names. This is your Suzin. Suzin. Uh, another uh, brand name, your Vigacid. Common is your Piptaz. Piptaz. Okay. Actually, example number three and number four, it has actually your ticarcillin plus clavulonic acid and your piperacillin plus tazobactam is very effective or it has actually uh, an anti shudomonal activity or it is against with your shudomonas erogenosa. No, it has. It has. It has an anti. No, lumalaban sila sa mga bacteria na kung tawagin ay mga pseudomonas um, pseudomonas erogenosa anti pseudomonas 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 activity so again, your knowledge to your from your microbiology teacher is very important to know what are the names of the bacteria involved Pseudomonas activi activity. So it is against with Pseudomonas. Uh, I mean, against Pseudomonas anti Pseudomonas, against with Pseudomonas erogenosa that causes also bacterial infection. Uh, on my part, uh, part three, I will also um, discuss to you what are the oral forms of your penicillin. Okay, bangan niyo yung aking part 3.